Then you have freaking Zemo, who's just a god on that on that screen, man. He's just he's amazing. Like, and he's so, so over scary, the top. For he's sure. so over the top. And like uh, a friend of mine, uh, Travis, uh, he actually pointed out like Zemo is Gollum like to watch in that like you wanted to see him, even though you knew that Gollum was not going to do anything nice for Sam and and and, and uh, Frodo. You just con- you constantly wanted him on the screen because it was too fun. And so like Zemo serving people, you know, uh, Turkish uh, delight, delight, Turkish delight and tea and, and making the meals. And, stuff. and you're like, what are you doing? Why do you trust this guy? So holy, you should not, you just reprimanded him for killing a man and right. you're still letting him walk around freely and make, f- make food for you. Like, Oh man, I just, I'm so amazed at how often, Everyone underestimates Zemo on that show. Yeah, um, they really, uh, they really sold Turkish delights for me. Like Zemo when he was singing <laughs> to those damn kids. You mean I was the like, Chronicles of Narnia didn't sell that to you. Yeah, yeah. My my, right. my wife was screaming, "Crossover! Oh my god, crossover! Mr. Tumnus is going to show up! Crossover!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa!" I mean, whoa. Zemo was straight pedo vibes <laughs> when he was singing singing that song. So he's yeah, so, so weird so, in, so in his own up. little weird world, man. Yeah, totally. And I was all like, what's he going to do to these kids? He's going to murder all these kids. 